Hi guys, welcome to the Contact Center Muse. Today we wanted to discuss 10 simple ways that you can disrupt your call center. 10 concepts, um, some technology, some best practices that you can mold together to, to reinforce and reinvigorate what you're doing in your contact center. So the first way to disrupt your contact center is to look at the channel offerings that you're giving your customers. Are you forcing them to just interact with you on, on maybe one or two channels? And, and most likely one of those channels is a non-voice channel. It's time to evolve that. Um, the solutions that are out there from a multi-channel or omni-channel presence you know, really can evolve what your customers can expect from you as a company. So you know, looking at things like voice, chat, email, um, social media, and even looking at some, some mobile solutions like chatbots. You know, all those things really can play into how a customer looks at your brand and how you can really evolve your contact center. So the second way to look at disrupting your contact center is to look at the strategies and technologies you're using for self-service. When I say self-service to a lot of companies, that antiquated giant monstrosity of an IVR that you've been adding to over the last six years probably is the first thing that comes to mind. So, it's time to move on to a, a real enterprise mobile solution, looking at chatbots, looking at texting AI, looking at things that your customers want to interact with. So very easily from their smartphone, um, through text messaging, customers can change their bill date, find out their account balances, all the things that they can do in an IVR, they can do with these, these personalized bots that have a much better experience than, than that old antiquated IVR. So number two, it, it's really time for you to look at uh, a cost-effective mobile solution. The third way to disrupt your contact center has nothing to do with technology. It has everything to do with your culture. Can you explain or, or tell me what your culture is in one sentence or less in your contact center? Most companies cannot do that. At Expedia, we like to say we have a sunshine attitude with an entrepreneurial mindset. And if you kind of really parse those words, it basically means attitude and effort. And that's what we do when we do our hiring. That's what we do when we incent. Um, everything is based on our culture. So you need to make sure that you have the culture that you're looking for, that you can explain that very simply, and that you're hiring and incenting um, based on those principles. The fourth way to disrupt your contact center is to think about how much time and money are you investing in your associates from a training aspect. How do you onboard your agents? What type of training do they go through? Does that need to be looked at? Does that need to be revamped? What type of ongoing training do you give? You know, is there, is there weekly education that each of these associates go through that may not even deal with the, the program, but maybe specific ways to talk, um, how to delight customers? All those things really need to, to be looked at and to, can really play into how to disrupt and how to make your contact center better. Number five, wouldn't it be great if we could just take all the calls that come into a call center and listen to every single one of them, and then anyone that falls out or is an exception um, gets tagged, well, we can do that now. That's called advanced speech analytics. So instead of just having that group of agents in the, in the back room listening to a certain amount of calls, we can listen to 100% of every single inbound call that comes in. It can be scored. It can be uh, looked at to make sure that, a, that proper disclosures were read. It can even look at certain sentiment reporting from an agent standpoint. So did an agent raise their voice? If so, let's tag that call. Looking at keywords is also something that's really cool. So we are able to tell our customers, maybe that launched a new program, hey, you know, Mrs. Smith, 35% of all the calls that came in yesterday had the phrase too expensive on them. So maybe you need to look to pivot um, that, that new product or, or lower the price. So advanced speech analytics is something that is relatively new, but it's out there and it's, it's available for you to disrupt your, your QA with. Number six, it's our job as call center managers to make sure that our customers uh, get a great experience and how that starts is through our agents. So let me ask you a question. Is your call center fun? Um, do your associates enjoy coming to work? Is there always something going on? Is there a game? Um, is there something silly always happening in your call center? Do you guys high five? Do you, do you clap? Do you cheer? 
Um, all those things really need to be looked. And I don't care if you're working for a, a bank call center that's supposed to be quiet um, or a sales call center that kind of just breeds that type of, of environment. Working on having your contact center be a really fun place is, is one of the easiest ways, the most cost effective ways that you can really change the culture um, and, and change how you, you're handling your associates. Number seven, so to go right along with that associates and, and having fun, you need quality management. So many contact centers make the mistake when a, a management member leaves, um, the, that higher rep or that best rep gets that, that management job. There's a big difference between being on the phones and being very good on the phones and being a leader on the floor. So making sure that you have some type of management trainee program, that there's ongoing training for your supervision. Um, that's a great way of, of again, disrupting your call center and, and changing um, how the dynamic plays between the management team and your associates. Number eight is controlling the first 30 minutes of an associate's day. We educate all of our management and supervisors that the first 30 minutes are, is their time to run their team. So every single associate needs to be greeted. Every single associate needs to understand if they hit goals, what their goals were for yesterday. Um, given the plan for today, uh, what new changes are happening? What's going on? Uh, the first 30 minutes is where that supervisor kind of takes the temperature of each associate and her team as a whole and they can really think and plan adjustments for the day to make sure that they get them to where they need to be. So we're going to do a whole video on that because I think it's really important um, and something that you can really use to, to disrupt and also to enhance the quality of your center. Number nine, so many companies confuse KPIs and call center metrics into that struggle to figure out what a world-class contact center is. We use things like service level and average handle time and occupancy, and we try to then quantify if somebody's doing a really good job or not, while forgetting about one important thing, and that's the customer. So I'm not saying that those metrics are not important, but if you really want to disrupt your contact center, if you really want to be more customer-centric, um, looking at net promoter scoring not so much the plan, but the concept of Net Promoter, of trying to really figure out how to make customers loyal to your brand through the concepts and through the things that you do from the call center side. Again, we're going to have more um, on that topic, but really take a peek at, at how you can implement some Net Promoter processes into your call center um, and, and just use those metrics for, for kind of checking to see if you're on the right path. Uh, but Net Promoter is, is really one important way, I think, that, that you can really disrupt um, and make your contact center more customer-centric. Number 10 I'm going to do really quick, and that's just leveraging the technology that you're already using. Call center managers can be very stubborn, so a lot of us just are very stuck um, in the concepts and the ways that we used to do things. Technology is ever evolving. So make sure that you're learning the newest technology that's out there, that's on your platform. So whether it be you know, your telephony or your CRM, understand things like workforce intelligence. You know, how to, how to move agents you know, without you having to manually click when a queue happens. How do you put uh, information up on, on the big TVs, right? So that your agents can, can really see and, and can, can kind of feel um, what's happening in the room. So all those things are really important and things that I see a lot of call center managers not do. I hope you found this helpful. Um, we're going to dive into a lot of these concepts in, in future videos, but um, I think that this, this is a good starting point and, and hopefully you can take some of these into your call center um, and, and disrupt it today. Thank you.